Hello and welcome to another edition of Some Arts. I'm Dave Ortega from the Somerville Media Center and with me is Nina Eichner from the Somerville Arts Council. So Nina, how, first of all, how are you doing? Doing great. It's really exciting. It's finally nice out. It is. And our June events are right around the corner. That's exciting. Yeah, we had a lot of fun last month with our film festival. Cinema Somerville. Cinema Somerville, a good collab. Now what's the, uh, what's the first event on the The first the event on June 3rd, first weekend of uh, June, it's the Big Gay Dance Party. All right. Yeah. And actually, um, we had this really great designer work on the poster. Oh, yeah? It's super cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We'll have to check that out. Yeah, it's a great poster. <laughs> now, um, this is the first event of its kind yeah. that the city of Somerville is putting together. Yeah. Um, the first Pride event for Somerville. So uh, how did that come about? What, uh, who, who said we need this in summer? Yeah, so there's always been a flag raising in, um, around Pride Month. Uh, usually it's actually in May, end of May, but it's for Pride Month and we raise the flag up at City Hall. But the LGBTQ liaison and the Department of Health and Human Services really were interested in having more celebration of Pride Month in Somerville um, because the mayor and the whole city, you know, uh, the people who work for the city really thought that we should celebrate, you know, more of our diverse communities, including the LGBTQ community. Um, so they came to me as an events person and we're trying to figure out what to do. And I thought a dance party could be a really good fit. It's a pretty simple event to start with um, in building more of a, a base of this community in Somerville for a city event, since we haven't done a big city festival for this particular community before. Um, but a dance party is really fun, it fits with the Pride theme, gets people out. Um, in Somerville, we don't want people to have to go to Cambridge or Boston just to have a Pride event. So it's really exciting we're having something here. That's great. And, you know, people can go see the larger events in Boston right. and then come to Somerville and exactly. have a nice dance party. Exactly. And go somewhere else to enjoy the evening. Exactly. So the Pride uh, month, June Pride month, will kick off this is the first weekend in June, so our dance party really, really kicks off the whole Pride Month. The Boston Pride Festival is the next weekend, so people can really kind of get in the spirit starting at the dance festival, oh, great. dance party. Excellent. So it's going to be June 3rd from 5.30 to 8.30, so it'll be an early evening festival, um, appropriate for all ages and all LGBTQ um, identified individuals and allies. And then people can, you know, kind of stay in Union Square, enjoy their evening, hang out, head out to other things. So it's really like open for everyone. I think it'll be a lot of fun. That's great. Yeah. And uh, so who is DJing the event? We have DJ D Diggs. Um, she's actually f uh, featured on the cover of Dig Boston, the oh. magazine right now. All right. If you go check it out, um, there's a big picture of her face on there. And she's a really great up and coming um, queer artist of color um, from from Boston, but plays a lot in Cambridge and surrounding areas and does a lot of uh, DJing, particularly electronic music, but all different types. And uh, we're really excited to be working with her and bringing her to Somerville. You mentioned uh, some STI testing. Mm -hmm. um, where's that going to take place? Yeah, so there'll be um, a lot of groups that do work in the LGBTQ community. We're really excited about coming to the festival and tabling, um, providing information about resources. And so Boston Glass will be providing STI screening, uh, confidential um, counseling and screening. It'll be inside the Somerville Media Center building, um, kind of in association with the festival. And so that's a great opportunity um, to have that alongside the event so people can be outside dancing, have fun, but there'll also be tables providing information about um, critical services or needs or anything people are looking to get help with. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. So that same weekend, uh, there is another festival going on yeah, in Somerville. Yeah, it's true. So uh, this is Carnival, mm -hmm. which I believe it, this will be the eighth year. That's going? correct. Yeah, it's been going for a while now. Wow. So um, for the person that has not experienced Carnival, what can they expect? Yeah, so Carnival is the first of four Summer Streets festivals. So those happen once a month throughout the whole summer in different neighborhoods. And so the East Somerville one kicks off the season. And it's a really great street festival. We shut down half a mile of Broadway in East Somerville and put out uh, three stages of music, lots of food vendors. The restaurants all come out and vend outside on the street. Uh, we have interactive activities. We have Esh Circuits Arts doing uh, trapeze, aerial arts. Oh, wow. 
Um, we have lots of open air circus does stilting. There's lots of interactive activities for people of all ages. And it's a really diverse event. It brings out people of all different communities within Somerville. Um, you get to taste food from all the amazing restaurants in East Somerville that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so it's a really fun event and it kicks off the summer, you know, summer streets series really well. Um, so that'll be 2 to 6 p.m. on June 4th in East Somerville. And people can just come and wander, grab some food, you know, listen to music and hang out. Nice. And yeah. So what are the other Summer Streets events, not to take away from that? Yeah, so there's one in August, September, and October. Mm -hmm. And those are on Highland Ave, Holland Street, and Somerville Ave. And they all have live music, uh, food vendors from the restaurants nearby, and then interactive activities. And one of the main ideas behind them is to get people active and to get to build relationships with neighbors. And so we have skateboarding, stilting, uh, trapeze, biking, rollerblading, and other interactive act activities to really get people moving, get them active, and also connecting with their neighbors. And shutting down the streets. And so shutting down the street, right? Like you usually wouldn't get to just wander across Highland Ave in the middle of the street. Yeah. So for those four <laughs> hours, it's great to have a safe spot that's usually filled with cars, just filled with people walking and biking and being active. And the same, you know, again, Somerville Ave right near here um, is usually a very busy street. And to have it open to pedestrians for a few hours in a day is a really nice opportunity. Carnival, like, uh, is that at all related to Carnival that happens in other yeah, countries? Yeah, yeah. So that this is. Celebration? Exactly. So it's really um, celebrating a lot of the cultures that are represented in East Somerville, like different Latino cultures, Brazilian culture, and um, having that food available. There will be a mask contest. Um, so people can make their own masks, and there'll be a contest for the best one. We have a parade um, that's led by some really great Brazilian drumming and dancing, and so it tries to bring that theme and flavor to Somerville. Your uh, events are coming down the pipeline in June. Yeah, so there's a ton of them, and we'll show at the end of this um, a schedule of all of them so people can look them up. But one more I wanted to talk about was our How to Fix the World Festival. This is a new one we're doing, and we have a really great team of people working on it. We have um, two of the Somerville Arts Council board members, uh, Marissa Moliner and Deidre Montgomery, who are helping us on this festival, um, as well as Greg Cook, who's one of our regular collaborators for festivals, and uh, Didi Delgado, who works for Black Lives Matter Cambridge. And we've all really come together as a team to work on planning this festival, and each bringing our own perspective and communities um, and kind of networks into it. Um, and the idea is really, how do you feature art that's about activism and about how to fix the world and addressing the problems that we're facing today? And there's been a lot of visual art shows and gallery shows on this theme since the election, but there hasn't been any big festival um, that I know of, definitely not in Somerville, but I think even in Boston, featuring other types of art on the subject. So this will feature dance, um, musical performances, interactive sculptures and pieces, um, sign making, and other uh, activist groups doing interactive activities. So um, letter writing and calling your representatives and learning about how to do a direct action, all these different types of activities that are done in a festival setting. So incorporating activism and art into, exactly. into a festival. Right, not just Real, I mean, for example, the Nave um, Annex Gallery has a really great show right now about activist art, but it's all visual art, mm -hmm. and it's all art that goes in a gallery. Right. So this will be more interactive, more performance-based art, um, things that you couldn't necessarily put in a gallery show. So it sounds it's great. very exciting. And what, what weekend is that? So that will be um, Sunday, June 18th. Okay. So that'll be two weekends after these first two events we talked about. Um, that's happening 12 to 4 p.m. right in Union Square Plaza. And the end of it, we're hoping, will culminate in a parade slash march um, and a rally. So people getting to um, come together and really like speak up about issues they care about and come together as a group to really rally behind that something needs to be done about what's happening in the world right now and that there's a big group of us here that care about that and want to show that. Yeah, and I think, you know, the mayor, um, our mayor, Mayor Curtitoni, has been really supportive of um, activism and um, really 
lots of different groups coexisting in Somerville. And I think this festival is a great way to showcase all of the groups that are doing really important work here and that we have so much more to do here, that our work's not done. And we have a lot more to change and fix and that there are a lot of artists who have creative solutions to how we can do that. Um, one example is a group called Danza Organica that does dance performances with formerly incarcerated women and them getting to tell their story through dance. Um, so that's one example. Um, people just really, artists have really creative solutions that we don't always think of mm. to how to fix problems in the world. And so this is a great way to showcase that. Looking forward to that. Cool, yeah. Now, uh, for the rest of June, yeah. how's, the, how's the calendar looking? It's, it's, it's looking full, it's yeah. <laughs> June's such a good month because yeah. it really starts to get warm, hopefully. And, um, you know, it's a good time of year in New England. So we have um, the weekend of the How to Fix the World Festival on Saturday, June 17th, is the Jazz and Blues Festival in um, Powderhouse Park. And that's a really great day of jazz and blues music. Um, so that's a really fun event to come out to, bring a picnic and hang out and listen to some great music. And then at the end of the month we have our annual family fun day and fireworks. So we always do our 4th of July fireworks the Thursday before the 4th right. um, to kind of not be in the same time as Boston. And so the Thursday, June 29th um, will be our fireworks celebration. We have the Air Force Band coming up to play for us. They're going to be amazing. Uh, Booty Vortex, who always plays the festival, one of the mayor's favorite bands. And then um, the Somerville Sunsetters, who are the local high school group. And that's usually at Trump Field? That's at Trump Field, yeah. yeah, on Broadway. So that's really fun. And the Saturday before that, June 24th, will be Family Fun Day. And that's just a day, it's a free barbecue, it's um, interactive activities, pony rides, bouncy houses, train rides, lots of fun just for families to celebrate the season, celebrate Independence Day. So that'll be really great. Um, and then we have two performances of Dancing in the Streets, which is a series we've done in the past. Um, and this time, a local dance troupes got to work with um, John Jaspers, who's a very well-known dance and dancer and choreographer. And he helped them develop new original dance pieces. And so they're going to be showcasing those. Um, so that's also happening. In so the streets. In the streets, right at Foss Park, right out front in the parking lot. So really bringing dance into the neighborhoods. So it's a jam-packed June, but lots of exciting things happening. And we really hope people will come and check them out and support the local arts. And all of these are free, open festivals. So uh, we really try to provide all different types of programming for all different types of people. Fabulous. And now, if somebody's interested in any one of these events, where should they go? Yeah, so um, I think we'll show some information at the end about each of the festivals, but if people have questions or want more information, they can go to the Somerville Arts Council website at somervilleartscouncil.org. They can give us a call, and we're happy to chat with them about any details about the festivals or about getting involved. All right. It looks, looks to be like a crazy, crazy month. Packed should be good, yeah. So get out there and and uh, enjoy all of this. Um, not to jump too far ahead in the calendar, but yeah. what's on the horizon for, for later in the summer? You know, there's so many great things happening. Um, we're going to do, in July, we're going to have a Nepali festival, which we haven't done for a few years. We're very excited about it. We're going to do Haiti in Brazil, which I believe is fourth year. And this time it'll be Haiti in Brazil festival at night. So Haiti in Brazil hit the Ville. Um, which celebrates okay. two communities that are really big in Somerville. We're going to have a nighttime uh, flea and artisan craft market in Union Square. Um, we have Artbeat, obviously, which is our really big Arts Council Festival in Davis Square. So there's lots of great things coming up, and it's going to be an exciting summer. That, that sounds like uh, so too much that um, probably have to push that to our next edition. Yes, we'll talk summer. more about it next time. Yeah. yeah. But in the meantime, um, get out there, um, get to these events, and uh, support art artists and uh, Somerville culture. So thanks for being on with thanks me. Thanks for having me. And um, happy summer. <laughs>